Good evening and welcome to Gray Barn of Andover, New Jersey. Tonight we're going to jump out of sync and we're going to visit with the vendors that I do usually second after the, st on the, the start of the month. We're starting a little bit late this month as we were not here last Tuesday until late. I didn't get a chance to make a video as I was tagging and going through all the stuff that we got from Lancaster. I still have not finished that as well as preparing for this past weekend's May Marketplace that we had done. And that was a lot of work, a lot of fun. We did have a very good turnout for that. So we got a little bit backtracked on our regular scheduled items that we do during the week, such as making the YouTube videos and as well as getting our packaging and shipping done for our regular customers who participate in our YouTube videos, on our Facebook Lives, as well as our daily Facebook and Instagram postings, and as well as items that I know might interest them. And I do send uh, pictures. If you have items that you want more information on, let me know. If you collect something in particular, you can always message us and say, do you have any of these in stock? And if we do, I will try to get them together and send you pictures and prices as soon as I get a chance. Yes, you can purchase from this video directly. You are not shopping vicariously. You are actually shopping with us. We are located in Andover, New Jersey, which is in Sussex County, the upper north area of New Jersey, close to the PA New York border up there where the tri-state, there's like a little corner where all three states meet. And you are able to purchase by direct messaging us. If you follow us on Facebook and or Instagram, use the direct message feature on that. Wednesday nights at 5.30, we do a Facebook Live selling event. It lasts about a half an hour, sometimes up to an hour, depending on how many items I pull and how we're doing for time. We are on Facebook with the same channel that you're watching us on YouTube, Gray Barn Antiques. That is gray with the E. Instagram, we are gray period barn. If you have not done so already, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're alerted to new content. If you do not do any social media, you may reach out to us through our email at graybarn at graybarnantiques.com. It's helpful if you're able to tell us at what part of the video you'd seen the items you're interested in so we can get that information out for you. You can also call us at 973-786-5555. If we're not here, just leave a message. We do have an old fashioned answering machine. So we will check that when we do get into the shop during our business hours of Wednesday through Friday. This Sunday is Mother's Day and we are open at normal hours from 10 to 5.30. I apologize for the shake. I am missing my uh, stick that I usually have my phone on. My tripod setup is missing. And if I get a chance, I'm going to show you why because we do have, in the midst of all these other things that we have going on, we always have other projects going on. We are making room for another vendor to have a booth and do and the only way I could figure out how to do that was to take a vendor who has fantastic items doesn't have furniture and larger items, so did not need a booth. So you will see some big changes coming along, and that's one of the things Don is working on in between his uh, working on the trains and his back that he pulled out yesterday. So he's been a little slowed down with that. And then yesterday we also had the Planet Network folks in here. So he has a, Don has a few more things he has to do tomorrow to make sure that we're getting the most we can out of our new internet service. And one of the things that's going to happen is we have a thing they're doing. It's um, it's a mesh, which makes like a spider web shape thing where you're we're able to triangulate the uh, Wi-Fi in here better so we can do lives throughout the whole shop, which will help our friend such as yesterday's tomorrow, Kim Jenkins, who likes to do live videos from our shop. And we so appreciate that. We found so many of you, so many of you found us that way because of Kim's wonderful videos that she's done in here. So with that, she will not lose any more time when she's going through the shop. There should not be any more dropping and as much lag. So tonight we are visiting with Andover Junction, Betty's Treasures, Belmont Farmhouse, and Vintage Crush. In the parentheses are their vendor codes, which is what you will see on their tag. Out of the three vendors, Belmont Farmhouse is the only vendor that has the 30% off items not marked firm, same for cash or credit. Our other three vendors are 20% off vendors. And we're gonna start in the front room and please do not mind the mess. Like I said, we had our event this weekend. So Sunday afternoon, while we were wrapping up, we pulled a lot of the stuff in and still not put it away. These items here are sold already. They were sold during the weekend. And you're going to see a mess. And you can see Don was doing some shipping yesterday. We had to pull things apart for the cable guys to come in. And it's kind of boxes sitting around stuff. But please disregard our mess. 
and know during business hours we do straighten this all up. So our first vendor we're going to visit with is Betty's Treasures. She has the built-in shelving in this room as well as a shelf in our locked case right here. So I'm going to turn and we're going to face Betty's Treasures. Now you can see she, we do have black lights in several of the spots of the cases. I'm going to kill this so you can actually see. And you have that, you can see the uranium glass does glow. And you see below it as well with our vendor with Auntie's Attic. And again, she is 20% off. And she has been gone since the beginning of January. She is a snowbird. She is down in Florida. And she sent me a note that she will be back by May 18th. So we expect to see her in a few weeks. And every time she comes back, there's always so many changes in the shop. So she's got to come back and have some big surprises again once more. This is the Fenton hand-painted bowl. This is the Silver Crest. It's called Silver Crest because, as you can see, the, the, the edge of the rim is clear. And so it gives it like this silvery effect with the white milk glass and is considered the ruffled. And this is a little compote and it has hand-painted flowers on it. And yes, it is signed on the bottom. It says hand-painted by, I cannot read the signature, but if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I can get that signature for you. That's just $14.40. So in all the Vaseline is not all grouped together. This piece is 16. She's got this pretty, I don't do 23s. 20% uh, off of that would be 460 off of that. So I, I'm not that good at math. But I can do the nine becomes seven twenty because I do that so often. Another piece of that's a piece of Westmoreland. It's like a peach milk glass kind of finish on it, and that is the they call it almond milk glass apothecary jar, and that's got the hand painted flowers. It has a little silver foil label on it. The Vantelligent Huggy Bears, and they're uh, eight dollars for the pair, and it does say there is a chip on the one. So I apologize if my camera work is a little bit uh, not as accurate as usual because like I said I'm not gonna be able to get high up like here I can get high up this is within my reach but the other booths I visit I will not be able to get such height as I don't know where my stick is Don moved all my stuff on me so again this is vendor 16 as uh, you can see in the upper left hand corner and that's just her item number you don't need that so 16 is the vendor code and then 22 is the price and she is 20% off in Betty's treasure so 22 becomes 1760 now, if you're purchasing and we are shipping to you, and even if you purchase online, I do, I will check everything before we commit to selling it to you, sending it to you, to make sure there's no damage that might not have been caught as things get damaged in the shop, or a lot of our vendors just do not see the damage. The tight hairlines uh, tend to go unnoticed, but I do a thorough check over of the items to make sure that you're getting it in the condition that you expect. And we will point out all the issues with it. Like we had a young lady that purchased a swan set from us a few days ago off of the YouTube video. And when I pulled it up, there were some condition issues. But I was took pictures of all the issues that I could find, sent it to her, and make sure she was okay with that. So $14.40 for the little elephants. And a little milk glass. So this one Don found. I can tell it's his handwriting on there. Uh, but like I said, our vendors don't always see it either. So this is $12 for the Carnival um, Marigold Colored Iris Herringbone Jeanette Glass. Now, that's a very popular pattern. It comes in all different colors and it was made right here. Jeanette Glass was made in Pennsylvania and it's not spelled like Jeanette like I spell it. It has the two ends. So she just had a lot of longer burger with the liners, the plastic liners, the fabric liners, and that is 20% off. She always has a great assortment of different lights, little lights, big lights, uh, right now she's only got little lights. Like I said, she's been gone, so a lot of her larger stained glass pieces have sold. Now this jadeite here is what they call the fantasy pieces. These were created uh, within the last 20 or 30 years. They are not authentic vintage. So you'll see a lot of this stuff popping up in the targets and stuff. We can tell the lids are brand new. But like this little, this is, it's, I'm just coming across blue on my camera, but these are actually green jadeite. So it's just 24 for the jadeite uh, hen on the nest there. And you have the crisscross patterned jadeite butter dish for $17.60. So some of these pieces were never even made in the real uh, jadeite, the old jadeite before the 1950s. They are newer fantasy pieces, they would call them. So, And our vendors, if they know, they will put that on there. And we try to catch it at the desk as well. And we, we, um, we're, always, we're always educating each other as well as our customers. So please never you know, think that we would ever put something as 
vintage if we did not know the true age. Now these are just $20 each. So the 20% is going to be off of that red price. And now I'm over at Vintage Crush's one bookcase that she has in here. And she also has a locked shelf in here. She just brought in some of these pieces this weekend. So you have the 28 and then the 20% off, a couple pieces of Pyrex. So 20 becomes just 16. These do not have the lids, as you can see. Check out this cool piece here. Pink Melita coffee filter holder for 24. That is this pretty pink pottery. Nice fridge dish for 1280. It's a larger one. It's got a handle on it, which is always nice. And you can see she's got the measurements on it, which I love, 9 by 9 We always have a large selection of Stangle. We have a lot of collectors of that around here. So it does come in, it goes out. Hopefully we bring it back in as quickly as we can. A cute little aluminum tray for just $8. I love the shape on these handles. They don't bend very so kind of do that and again if you see something in this video our past videos our Facebook or Instagram or if you were in the shop and you saw something and you've now decided you want more information on that please do not hesitate to reach out to the shop so over here oops let's swing by one of our other vendors that's in here now Belmont farmhouse is vendor 56 is the 30% off that I told you about now she has this bookcase in here as well as a booth in the back and then I have three more shelves in the lock cases to get to for our other three vendors that we are visiting with as well. This is a good little deal. This is a this is for all these little samples here. It's 15 and she is 30% off. So that'd be 1050. This is the old box. You know anybody from Ohio University? That'd be kind of cool. And that's just seven dollars. This is neat. She just brought this in. So you can see it does have some crackling on the lacquer. It does have that little pin, the cobble type pin. Oh, look inside. Look at the paper inside of that. That is so cool. I had not opened this up before. I had just seen she had just brought it in. And that is $25. So that would be $17.50. I'm going to try to get this in with the one hand. You can see how cool this is. So I can't do that. It's got a handle there. Let's see. Does it have a handle on the other side? Yes. It's really unusual. Oh, it's got some good weight to it, too. And what slid down that you heard was a metal $7 Lord Salisbury cigarette box. So that's pretty cool. And again, you can purchase any of these items that I am showing you. This isn't me shopping to show you what I'm going to be putting up in my eBay store. This is me helping you shop at the Gray Barn of Andover. So now we're going to come over to this locked case. And this shelf here is Andover Junction. And now uh, below her is Vintage Crush. Now keep in mind these two ladies are 20% off. So like 110 becomes 88. And 20 would be 16. That's a cool little compact. It's interesting. It doesn't have, you would think they'd have a little flamingo on there since it is from uh, Miami Beach, Florida. Interesting crucifix. $52 on that. Always some great pieces of Waterford. It's an unusual Yadro from 1978, retired, so he would be 100. Not 100 years old, $100. That jewelry set back there is, I can't see the other number. Well, if you want that information, oh, it looks like a 22, so that'd be 1760. A lavender Wedgwood Jasper Ware. And then we have Andover Junction, has some great old Disney. It's a vintage dopey planter back there for 32. We have Minnie and Mickey. These are all older ones. Some Lennox, Piano Baby, some Occupy Japan figures. And we'll be back on track with the videos very quickly. I like I said, I just well, last week with the going out to Lancaster, we got a little backtracked. So 60 becomes $42 for that beautiful blue satin compote there. And again, this shelf is Belmont Farmhouse, so this would be 30% off. And I will gladly get any of these items out and get you more pictures of them, close-ups, whatever you need. Is water, uh, another Waterford decanter. 
and that one's just 35. The amber with the applied handle is 35. Well, that all back there, beautiful fan back there. She just marked that down. Those were our vendors that we're visiting with tonight in the case room. Now we're gonna leave this room and that, remember now this was where Betty's Treasures was. So that was vendor 16. And then we have the other two bookcases in here and now we're gonna go back to their booths. And I'm gonna try not to turn too fast, please pardon the mess. I'm gonna take a little drink on the way by. You can see our flowers from the outside are sitting in Auntie's attic. They seem to like it in there. We got these down at, right down the road from our shop here, Tranquility Farm. These three huge plants for uh, $60 for the three. And they've been doing great. So tomorrow we'll put them out. And then soon enough they'll be able to stay out overnight. I feel like I'm babysitting teenagers. They can't stay out overnight yet. We're just waiting for the weather to get better. So the reason I went with these booths uh, tonight instead of the usual ones for this particular lineup that I do is Vintage Crush was one of the vendors that was here uh, all weekend that brought in pieces for the outside and then when it didn't sell, came back in, she had to redo her booth. So we got a nice little booth redo on this one as well as she had worked on this booth all week. So I figured we'd get this one up. Now you might have seen the pictures of this table set online. It is still available. It is $80, excuse me, for the table with the four chairs. They do have the new rubber feet on it. And she does have the measurements right here. So what I, I find so interesting on these is this handle. And these chairs have great weight. So if you're looking for a nice vintage kitchen table, we have it here. We cannot ship this. But if you're a local, we will hold that for pickup. The other thing she has, if this doesn't sell tonight, I'm going to be pulling this up for tomorrow night's live. New old stock flower frog. What well, does that mean, new old stock? New old stock means it's a vintage item that was found in a store. Uh, they might have had a dozen of these that they just didn't sell back in the day. And now they've been found, they've resurfaced, and now they're reselling them. This one we know is new because it's got, this is the sp spiking one. See, I'm actually pressing down on it without getting maimed. It still has the plastic cover on it. So this flower frog is just $12 for this one, made in Pasadena, California. We have a couple of nice glass ones here. This one's just $8. And you see she even has the measurements on that for me. 11 whole flower frog, and this one is nine sixty. dollars This unusual set of bonsai planters with drip tays, marked Fuji, Japan. So 42, and then the 20% off of that. And then, like we've said, the red price, it doesn't say the word firm, so you're gonna get the 20% off of that 125. So that does become $100. There are some cosmetic issues. Now, when I say cosmetic issues, it's something that you might be able to sand out, restain, paint, or whatever. If I say structural, then we're talking it's got wobble, it's got breaks, it's got repairs. So this just has some cosmetic issues on this beautiful old table, as you can see here. And a lot of times you can just get like the old English or, or touch up and that'll just fill that in just nicely. We got a lot of baskets in the shop right now. It's that time of the year. We try to have a lot of planting ideas for you to get your gardens going. We've been selling a lot of little terracotta planters and for everybody to get the little succulents going. So this booth, again, is our vendor, Vintage Crush. 20% off of 18 becomes $14.40. This is a nice decanter here, and that is just $12. That is emerald glass that is not flashed. And when I say flashed, oh, that's a hollow. How intricate that's blown. Look at that. It's even got the pontel's been smooth, but there is a pontel on there. And you can see it's not a perfect shape on the top because that has been, that is a nice piece of glass there for just $12. The green is in it. Now these look like they might be flash. Whereas the, eventually if you use a lot of hot water and soap, that green will come off. So just gotta be careful with that. I can't tell, they look like they are. You can see the slight difference in the glass. You can see she just marked this down to $39. There's our measurements. Get my thumb out of the way. And if you don't do social media, but you, you feel like you're missing out, I do recommend for the most privacy is Instagram. Super easy to set up, super easy to use. 
and you can just see what you want to see and set yourself to private so nobody can bother you. You can also do that on Facebook. Uh, not as private as Instagram and not as easy to use. I find Instagram, you can look at the pictures easier. So if you joined Instagram just to look at our page, you would see our pictures clustered a lot easier. Now what you're missing when you're not doing our Facebook, you're missing being on the actual live as well as the extra link uh, video. Uh, I put up other things on our Facebook page that I find interesting from other sites because uh, Instagram doesn't let us share links. So I'll find some interesting bits of history local, nationwide, just things that I find interesting I put up on there as well. So you miss that if you're not on our Facebook page. But like I said, Instagram is great if you're looking for something easy to use, a lot of privacy. That's a pretty bowl. I can't quite see the label on that. I do know it's $36, antique 12 by 5. I can't quite read that. That's really pretty though. Very nice. $12 for six. So it's just $2 each for the vintage six and a half Franciscan rose uh, bread plates. If you're collecting these, I'm going to show you which label that is so you can see which one that is. It's definitely the older. And again, we are visiting with Vintage Crush, who goes by the vendor code of Leah. If you see anything you want more information on, please reach out to us. Currently, her bookshelves, the cabinet that I was just in is not for sale, but this bookshelf and another one is for sale. She has assured us she has bookcases at home to replace these because that is the problem when you sell a bookcase. If you don't have something to replace it right away, we end up with a little bit of a mess. We always do sort the items out and put them back neatly, but it's just better to have the storage. So 11 becomes 880. 320 on that one. Cupcake holder. This guy's 36. Small chip on the back. On the back, you're never even going to see that. So it's towel holder, kitchen or bathroom. If you got the cow theme going on in your house, that's perfect. A lot of great mugs, covered pie dishes. The lighting in her booth is for sale as well. The Pyrex set here is, here we go, I found that tag. So that just came in, the four piece Crazy Daisy, $100 for those four mixing bowls right there. And again, tomorrow night at 5.30 is our weekly Facebook Live. I will be, I try to pull things that just came in Wednesday. Uh, we'll have a lot of people in stocking tomorrow, as well as things that, in my opinion, have been marked down very substantially. This is not super old, but it looks old. It's really cool. It's a nice little Hershey's tin. It has a little bit of age. It's just $4.80. I try to find the sales, get you the good stuff. Well, all the stuff in here is great, but... I go out of my way to try to find things that I think will be easy to ship and catch your eyes. So, like I said, the lighting in this booth is for sale as well. And this is our vendor, Leah Vintage Crush. She has a little selection of fabric as well in here. She's got some nice little bundles of fabric. So I'm going to kind of start to skim past a lot of things because I am seeing that the time is starting to run up there. This is really cute. She just brought this in. We don't have moms. She's, she's like, well, I guess the swan is uh, the little woman who lived in the shoe, or she's just helping. She's the nanny, and that's just $16 for this crazy baby shoe going on here. $16 for the little girl in the picture there. You can see our vendors always seem to have an eclectic mix of things. Oh, look at this little green milking stool. We could ship this, but it would have to be by itself. It's $10. Feels about two or three pounds with the shipping on it. I think Don could ship that. Yeah, he should be able to ship that. But like I said, it would be by itself or with some things tucked in it. That's just absolutely adorable. Cute little primitive chippy green paint there. Handmade definitively. Uh, and that is just $10 for that guy. The other thing that sometimes delays us with the shipping is Don has to make custom boxes a lot of the times, and we have to keep them at a total of 1,728 square inches or less before you hit. We can ship larger however you start to hit the fees at the, the size fees, kind of like the carry-on on the airplane. You hit a, a certain point, and the pricing goes up su substantially. So we try to make sure we keep within those 
possibilities. Um, we're hoping within a year or so when we get things actually completely settled in the shop to have a shipping area downstairs in our tiny little basement so Don can really start doing a lot more shipping. So this lamp is pretty cool. This is $24 and she does have a small selection of vinyl as well. And this is Vintage Crush. Now I'm going to show you something really quick. And I'm going to actually put this back in this vendor's booth because this is where it came out of. This is from uh, our vendor Bronx Man Cave. And this is the booth. I'm going to just hang this here so Don doesn't forget that Don is actually, this is the booth that has fantastic items, but as you can see, it's a lot of smalls. So we're going to be able to fit him into the front area without him losing any of his space. So he's going to have all this stuff up there. I'm going to come up from the back and show you the vendor. She used to be at Easton, uh, Pennsylvania, the Antique Emporium there. Reloved with Heart, H-A-R-T. And she recently joined us in the back here in two of the bookcases. Like I said, we still have a lot of stuff we have to put away. And she has these two bookcases here. And as of June 1st, she will be up in that booth as well. So she'll be able to bring in a lot of her larger pieces. So we're going to come up from the back. And again, it doesn't have to be just items from the booths that we're featuring tonight. If you see other things that I walk past that you want more information, just let us know. So now I'm coming up on Belmont Farmhouse. And she is 30% off. Items not marked firm. She always has a great selection of coffee table books. And an eclectic mix of everything. So she's got a pretty good size space there. So we're going to dive in over here now. And again, take that 30% off. Do not hesitate to reach out to us to get that information on any of these items. You need more pictures, you need sizes, you need prices. I will gladly find that for you. And just because I do not focus on an item does not mean it's not a great item. It's just like moving along. You can see this has a couple of chips on it. Let's see. That's why it's only $16 and then 20, uh, I'm sorry, 30% off of that. It's no markings, but it does have some nice age to it. It's a very pretty color. It has some good weight to it. Looks like this rack, this plate rack is $840. It's got some great vintage aluminum. Now you might have seen these chairs if you're on an Instagram Facebook page. They are just $7 each. They do have some condition issues. The one's missing a bunch of the spindles in that, but they could be great little project pieces for that price. No, we can't ship those. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish we could ship everything, but just make sure if you're ever up in the New Jersey area, you plan on coming by here. Let us know if you're visiting and please let us know if you found us online so we know how you found us. We always like to hear that. That's a pretty little picture. It looks like Portuguese or Italian. It's saying real Portuguese. And that's just $4.90 as is. Chip on bottom rim. Oh, goodness. That's that's nothing. We don't have to worry about that. Just turn it around so you don't see it, right? All right. Let's see. A lot of great kitchen tools. In this booth. She did get, it was very busy this weekend. Like I said, we had our main market. So she usually comes in on Wednesday and we'll be restocking and refreshing. You see there's some empty spots. The vendors, some of them had an additional discount. She was actually 40% this weekend. So, but that's only good for in-store. We, we do not do that online. The whole idea is to move it along. This is vintage Czechoslovakia. This is pre-World War II. And that's a little bird vase for just $4.90. There is a chip on his beak. That's why he's just $4.90. Sugar bowl, as is, has some staining. And sounds as if there's a crack. Okay. So this little set is $14 and then 30% off. I see some crazy lines on that as well. It's Staffordshire Bowl in China. It's a cute little owl. It looks like a soapstone-y kind of thing. Golden Crown, Italy. So $21 for that owl. And we are visiting with Belmont Farmhouse, 30% off. This is a fun little repro 
Heavy road for just 1050, a little tin sign. We do have Netcong hardware down the road that if you happen to go past it, in the back is actually a local artist painted this on the back of one of the buildings. And if you stand in a certain way, it looks like you are walking with the Beatles. How cool is that? And they let you go back there and take pictures all the time. Just make sure you bring somebody with you or a tripod so you can set that up appropriately and get that perfect image of you walking with the Beatles. And her lighting is for sale as well. The hanging lights do work, but they're just not plugged in. I think they have to be hardwired. So Don does do that on occasion when he has time, which is of late has not been a lot of it. So he does have vacation next month when Don, the last week of school for Donnie. So hoping they're able to get away, maybe get out to Knoebels. That's a nice uh, canning jar lifter for just 630. Some nice raw iron candle holders. There is the price. Oh, and that has been reduced. I cannot quite get that. Uh, 20. So 14 for the pair. And they'll hold two candle uh, two taper candles each. This is not together. I know sometimes we confuse people as just a clear egg dish and there's this cute little pink depression glass piece up on here for 840. Keep waiting for the yellowware and the brownware to come back in. Right now I know ironstone's the hot thing, but years ago this was the, the way to go. And I, the, the pristine condition and the pricing on these, I, I would highly recommend that if you're looking for something to use or even collect and you want to fill up your shelves with some nice old bowls right now I would be looking at the yellowware because it is priced so well right now we have a lot of it in here I've done posts on just that and it will come back it always does uh, stoneware the the iron stone never seems to go out in the white but the yellowware ebbs and flows right now it's just it's at the price of where I always say buy it now because when it does start to come back in popularity it's going to go back up again, the prices. So now's a good time to buy that. It's a nice chippy box here for 14. Has some paint splatter in it. So now we're going to go on up to our vendor Andover Junction, who is at the end of this particular. If you come from this, if you come from the front, she's right in the front, but coming up from the back, she's over at the end. Now she has that space on the wall. And then she has these two bookcases and that little space next to it on the left. And she is a 20% off vendor. Now this does have, this has dried out and it's just cracked and it's completely in. She does have that marked as is because of these issues. It's Wedgwood, it's 960. The bottle itself is in good shape. But the atomizers, as they tend to do, dries out and the plastic just cracks as soon as you touch it, basically. I mean, you can't help but try to squeeze it. Customer, he came up apologizing. I'm like, not your fault because that is the nature of these, like the old rubber bands and that. They just dry out and that's what happens. The rubber was not made to last. This is a Martha Stewart lemon for $14.40. This is neat. Now, this looks like it might have had a had a lid at one point, now it does not. So 17 and then the 20% off of that. That's got some serious weight on it, I can tell without even picking it up. And again, this is Andover Junction, vendor code one, and she is 20% off. Got some really cool silver plated pieces that we sold a few weeks ago on our Facebook Live. Now the shelf you see poking through behind is Auntie's Attic, who we did two weeks ago, I believe. And this is Andover Junction here as well. The shelf's a great deal. That is just $12. We cannot ship this one though. So it has little shelves here, it has these cute little drawers. This is a fun little project piece too. Change out those knobs and stuff. That's just $12 for that little shelf. 
So if that doesn't sell tonight, I'll probably pull that up tomorrow because I do have some local people who love when we have small little shelves like that for sale. She has some artwork over here. And you see, we fit a lot of stuff into small spaces for our vendors. This is Lily Zen by Lily Bloom is 24 for the bag. It's a little overnight duffel. Mannequin is not for sale. She has this nice lantern here. So one of these from another vendor, very similar. This one's 24 and it does have the fake candle in there. So that was all four of the vendors. Like I said, we have a little bit of a mess up here because we are still recovering from this weekend. And we visited tonight with Andover Junction, Betty's Treasures, Belmont Farmhouse, and Vintage Crush. We are Gray Barn Antiques of Andover, and you can find all of our information in our about to purchase directly from us. Thank you for visiting with us, and I'm hoping I'll get another video quickly. And don't forget, tomorrow night is our Facebook Live.